loves, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For today's video, if you guys saw my previous video, I mentioned that I went thrifting for the very first time in months and it was amazing. It felt good to be back. What I thought would be fun for this video, I found so many cool treasures that day. I don't know what it was. It's either a hit or miss, but that day I found so many great pieces. In the whole bunch of pieces that I did find, I found three that were sort of okay, but that I saw potential in them and I thought that I would maybe do a thrift flip DIY project on them and just spruce them up and make them extra special. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, please give it a thumbs up. It makes my day. For my next video, what I thought would be cool is maybe um, showing you guys all the other pieces that I did find while thrifting and maybe do a haul for you. So if you guys want to comment down below, let me know if this is something you guys would want to see next. Um, I would so appreciate it. So anyway, we're going to jump right into it. Enjoy, guys. I am finally at the thrift store. It actually opened and I'm super excited because I get to shop. Let's go check out what they have and fingers crossed we find some treasures. wait for it guys I am in love with it Tada! can we all take a moment how gorgeous is this vase I saw it there sitting on the shelf and I literally died I couldn't believe someone got rid of this I mean it has this whole unfinished feel which I love and it just has a I don't know a weird shape but I find it so cool the only thing and the reason why I wanted to do a thrift flip on it is because, first of all, the color. It's not horrible. It's beautiful. It can go in someone else's home, but it just doesn't go in my home well. So what I thought I would do first is paint it. And I had another idea as to how I wanted to make it a little different and a little more unique. So let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy this first thrift flip.
my second piece. I know it's not the most extravagant piece, but when I saw it, I saw potential and I saw something that I can create with it. And so it is this bamboo steamer. And what I wanted to do and what I envisioned was actually maybe a jewelry box or a storage box of some sort. I found other pieces as well that I thought would go perfectly and I can play around with it. So I'm gonna share those as well. It is the seashell, I think it's a coaster, I'm not too sure, but I'm probably gonna take it apart and just play around with the shells. And I know most of you are probably gonna be like, no, keep it like that, but I just, I see something that I can create with it. So I'm gonna take it apart and use the shells. Then I also found these three necklace seashells here. If you can focus. They were $1.50 each. Usually when you get a whole stack of these at Michael's, they come out to like $15. So I was super stoked that I found these. Sometimes just looking in the necklace section or the belts, you can find some really cool pieces that you can cut up, glue, change up, and use as decorative accent pieces. So next I got these three necklaces here. And they were all about $1.99. And it is these three wooden beads and I fell in love with the colors of them and just the natural feel and look how beautiful this one is. So I know I can do something really cool with these pieces and hopefully what I envisioned will actually come to life. So fingers crossed guys.
actually heading out, going towards the cache, and I just saw it on the shelf and I was drawn to it. It is a, this metal piece here and it's this diamond shape on a stand. I wasn't too sure at first, but I looked at the price and it was $5. I told myself, Katya, stop being so cheap and get it. So I got it. I didn't like the color. The gold doesn't go with my home. I'm going to repaint it and just add a little extra something to the base of it and make it a little more luxurious and expensive looking. So hopefully it works out. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this DIY slash thrift flip. I did want to include that last one in there and I know it wasn't the biggest DIY project, but I do think that sometimes just tweaking and making small changes can totally transform a piece. And I thought it was important to put it in there as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and just thank you guys so much for watching. I love you always. Have an amazing day. Bye.